teacher, Nina. She helps me learn new things every day. Welcome to your Max class. Before we begin, a quick reminder to keep your journals open in front of you throughout the class. Let's set a clear aim for today's class. You may already know how to subtract two one-digit numbers. We have learned that we can use place value blocks to subtract numbers. Finally, do you remember how to subtract two two-digit numbers using the expanded form? Today, we are going to find out more about subtracting two two-digit numbers. Specifically, we will learn more about subtracting two two-digit numbers using the counting up method. Now, write in your journal in your own words, what is the aim of the class today? I have written down what we are going to learn today. Time for a quick activity. Let's get started. Take two sheets of paper, a pair of scissors, a ruler, a pencil, and an eraser. Get into pairs. One of you is partner A, and the other is partner B. Take a sheet of paper each. Fold the sheet into half lengthwise, twice, like this. Now fold it widthwise, twice, like this. Open the folds. Using the pair of scissors, cut along the fold lines. You will each get 16 slips of paper. So, each pair will have 32 slips of paper. Now, Partner A, take all the 32 slips of paper. Partner B, take 11 slips from Partner A. Now, without counting the number of slips individually, Let's find out how many slips of paper are left with A. Partner B, take 9 slips from Partner A and add it to the 11 slips that you already have. Make sure you don't mix the two sets. Partner B will now have 20 slips. Now, Partner B, Take 10 slips from Partner A and add it to the 9 slips you previously took. Do not mix these with the 11 slips you initially took. Partner B will now have 30 slips in total. How many more slips should B take from A to get all the slips? Mia, what is your answer? Two more slips. Excellent. Partner B had 11 slips initially. Partner B then took nine more slips from Partner A to reach the nearest 10, 20. Then, Partner B took 10 slips to reach 30. Finally, by taking the last two slips, Partner B had all the slips. So, we can say that we counted up first by 9, then 10, and finally by 2 to reach 32 from 11. Now, add all the count-up amounts to find the number of slips Partner A had. Write the answer in the action part of your journal. Mia, what is your answer? 21 slips. Excellent. 
This means that on subtracting 11 from 32, we get 21. Here, we used the counting up method, in which we counted up from the smaller number till we reached the bigger number. We added all the count up amounts, 9, 10, and 2, to get the difference between the two numbers. Time for analysis. Let's watch a Cool Talk video. Let's distribute red ties to boys and blue ties to girls. I need 26 blue ties for girls. I don't know the number of boys. There are 48 students, so can you find their number? How? By doing subtraction. Subtraction? We can subtract the number of girls from the total to find the number of boys. Yes, we can use the count up method for subtraction. Count up method? Draw a horizontal line. Place the smaller number at the start. That is 26. Larger number at the end? 48. From 26, take a jump to the next tens. That is 30. Write the jumped value. Four! Yes, now take a jump to next tens. That is 40. Finally, jump from 40 to 48. Eight! To know how far we've jumped, add these. Four plus 10 plus eight. That is 22. There are 22 boys. I need 22 red ties. Look, sandwiches. Only 13. How many more sandwiches do we need? 48 minus 13. On a number line, we jump from 13 to 20, then 40, and then 48. And then we add these jumped values and get 35. Look, Zero has made his own jumping line. <laughs> <laughs> In the analysis section of your journal, write in your own words what you learned from the video. Today we learned how to subtract two two-digit numbers using the counting up method. We count from the smaller number to the next ten, then we skip count by 10 to the bigger number. In the end, we add all the count up amounts to find the difference between the two numbers. We can use counting up method to subtract mentally. We will now solve a problem. But before that, let's watch the cool talk again. Let's distribute red ties to boys and blue ties to girls. I need 26 blue ties for girls. I don't know the number of boys. There are 48 students, so can you find their number? How? By doing subtraction. Subtraction? We can subtract the number of girls from the total to find the number of boys. Yes, we can use the count up method for subtraction. Count up method? Draw a horizontal line. Place the smaller number at the start. That is 26. Larger number at the end? 48. From 26, take a jump to the next tens. That is 30. Write the jumped value. Four! Yes, now take a jump to next tens. That is 40. Finally, jump from 40 to 48. Eight! To know how far we've jumped, 
add these. 4 plus 10 plus 8, that is 22. There are 22 boys. I need 22 red ties. Look, sandwiches. Only 13. How many more sandwiches do we need? 48 minus 13. On a number line, we jump from 13 to 20, then 40, and then 48. And then we add these jumped values and get 35. Look, Zero has made his own jumping line. <laughs> <laughs> Time to apply what we have learned to a real problem. Sam has 41 marbles. And Joe has 24 marbles. How many more marbles does Sam have than Joe? Write your answers in your journal. Your time starts now. Mia, what have you written? Sam has 17 more marbles than Joe. Excellent. We can find the difference by counting up from the number of marbles Joe has till we reach the number of marbles that Sam has. We count it up from 24 to the nearest 10, that is, 30. Then we skip counted by 10 to reach 40. Finally, we counted up 1 to reach 41. In the end, we added all the count-up amounts to find the difference between the two numbers. Time for a quick quiz. Let's see if we remember what we learned in the class today. Shade the bubble for the correct answer in your journal. Question 1. Tim is 12 years old. His neighbor is 25 years old. Which of the given options show the difference between Tim's age and his neighbor's age? Question 2. Sue has 18 pencils more than Mike. If Sue has a total of 30 pencils, how many pencils does Mike have? A. 10 B. 12 C. 13 D. 15 In today's class, we learned so many things about subtracting two-digit numbers mentally. Now I can subtract two-digit numbers using the counting up method. See you next time!